Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies are down in the description box below and some of them have links, so check them out. Hopefully you can find everything. And if you like these videos, then hit that subscription button. If you wanna be notified of them, you hit that bell and you can get notified when we put new ones out. So here's my colors we're working with. Brown, cinnamon, vanilla, and Genetian. I guess. Um, these are Marabou's. Sorry, I can't pronounce that name. So, we're going to just put these on and see what kind of design I can get. And then I want to do some, uh, the shot glasses and do some bubbles and some lines and just kind of have some fun with it. I want to do something kind of messy and not too structured <laughs> like I do anything structured. But, anyway. Yeah. Just that. Alright, I'm going to drop some of this stuff in. That was cinnamon. Here's vanilla. It's pretty light, but I think it'll I think it'll play well. And here's brown. Okay. Now we'll take some have your paper towel ready because this gets drippy. We'll take some of this and we're just going to drip it a little bit. Let it start moving some of these. Now, I kind of dry this from the side a little bit, push some of this over, make a different type of line. Sometimes it'll move well for you, sometimes it won't. Yeah, I kind of want some brown through here, though. I can't get away from having things even. I'm working on it, but geez, it's hard. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I am. Let me get it all the way dried. Okay, there's a white spot right there, but don't worry about it. We'll put a bubble there. All right. Uh, I do want to play with this. This is, I don't have any in it. Uh, here, I've got one. It's got a little alcohol in it. And I just want to kind of mess this up. But I'm going to get far away from it and just kind of see what it does. A little at a time. It 
it's just a little fun way to add something. Something, something. Okay. Hmm. Now, let's get shot glossies. This is where either you have something like this that you can work on or get a paper plate um, that you can put the alcohol and roll your uh, glass in it. And I have a number of size lids, hairspray and squirt bottles, it's just all kinds of stuff. And someone's got some color on it. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, we'll just start making some bubbles. So, let me set these to the side. All right, let's put one here because we know we know this was this has got to go. And I'm gonna put a, a quarter amount here. Let it spread just a tad. And it starts activating this underneath, so we're messing up that line for sure. It's still moving. It looks like it stopped, put some more under there, but it's, this may get to the edge. I don't know, let's just go ahead and do it. Then I take my dryer, turn on low, and just kind of start drying. I scooted it, but that's all right too. Just start drying this around. Now there are so many ways to make bubbles. I usually struggle with the ones I've tried. This one I don't seem to struggle with. So, you know, find out what you can do and that's what you do. I've seen them where this whole paper would be wet and they'd put a bunch down and I just, I just can't do it. I don't know why. So find the way that fits you and you'll be very successful at doing it. Everybody has their own. Now I'm picking it up just a tad. I want to see if it's moving any, if it's getting dry up under there. And I can see now it's still moving a tad. But I think I can pull that off and catch it before it runs out of the circle. And at this point, I go ahead and dry it. I don't try to work it to where it's wispy because I, I want it to stay kind of like it is. So I'm just letting the air hit it and letting it dry how it wants to. Now. All right one down I don't usually clean these because even if it puts some of this color somewhere else it's gonna be fine it's all fine so let's find another spot I'm really glad we did those I want to do another one let me do another squirt right here That's just fun. All right. And notice those aren't in here. So that adds something else. The more layers you can get, the more people have to look at and figure out. And it just makes your picture so much more interesting. So, all right, let's see. Um, how about this area? That should be pretty right there. I'm trying to find spots where... Two colors meet pretty strong. You don't want to pick like an area that doesn't have any movement in it um, because this adds to the interest of it when you've got two or three colors and then the inside of the bubble is going to have some of those colors and it just completely looks like it's not connected to the background. Now I'm holding this a little bit because it is wanting to come out and I'm going to start drying that. I don't want to blow it around, so I'm kind of going to 
hold off on being real close. And it's seeping out a little bit, but that's going to be cute and fine. I've had to learn to kind of trust the inks. Let them do their thing. And I don't get as upset or obsessed with trying to make it do exactly what I have in my head. Because a lot of times when it does what it wants to, it's better than what I could have done. Alright, so I've kind of got all the way around here dry-ish. I'm going to pick up just a little and see how much blows around inside. Not a lot, so I'm going to pick this up. If you can still tell that it's moving or it takes off moving because you've released some of the pressure uh, with the cup being on the paper or the blower actually blows it, hold it for a little bit. But if it's not moving much at all, go ahead and pull it up. And now I just want to get this dry, so I'm just holding it about 8 inches above the paper and just letting it dry. I think I want that. That'll be cute. Maybe right here. Alright, so I'm picking up my same one. Getting this area here. Just let it spread for a minute. As long as it doesn't get bigger than this. Look at it already breaking that up. Isn't that neat? Alright, it's getting close. And it's seeping on the outside a little bit. That's again okay, because that turned out cool. So, it'll be fine. And something else you can do is actually run some ink um, on your paper plate or on a glass dish or something and add a different color to it. So you could actually do that if I wanted to do like a green or um, a different brown or black or something. That would be really, really neat. We may try one of those. Let's do that. Oop, it's moving, so... And don't worry about if it sticks. Just hold your paper down and pull. And I'm just rocking it a little bit, getting some air up under there. And I can tell it's starting to not move on me. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. I 
what color we want to do? Hmm. Let's do, let's just do, let's see. We could do the blue here. I want to do a color that works well. I forgot I'm drawing. Okay, I thought I was just holding that. <laughs> let's do a blue one like right here. Because this has got plenty of blue. We'll do that. That'll work. All right. So here's this, and we're going to do... Yeah, right there. That'd be good. Okay. I'm going to put this out here. Well, let me see if you can see. Yeah. Put that here. Let me put some alcohol here. Now, we're right running through that. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, run it through that. may not have put enough inside. It's not getting close to my edges. Let me just drop a little bit in there. Now. All right, let's see what we got. I don't know if it added as much color as I thought it would, but it's still pretty. I do like, yeah, it added some. Let's see when it is four. We could do five. I think we're going to do seven because I need to get some down in here. Um, let's do this one. So we're staying with, I'm just using the one. I'll do one right here. These are so fun. All right, it's just now reaching the edge. I can see it because it kind of seeps out just a tad. Not too bad though, this one was a good one.
All right, that one's a little runny, but that's all right. Keep going around it, start getting these edges dry, and it won't get out of your circle. Then I just hold air on it to start getting it dried. All right. All right. And don't forget, videos 55 and 56 both have bubbles. Different colors. Um, one's really bright and pastel-y. The other one is pretty dark colors, browns and greens. So, check those out. All right. So, maybe this, because I kind of want them looking like they're flowing here and here. That's a plan. All right, do this. See it bubble here? It's coming out. Oh, this one's going to look good inside, unless it moves. Ah. I like that line where it was. Whoop. But now it's, it's moved a little bit. That's okay. It's still going to look fabulous. glass is getting gummy. So clean it just a tad. And I've got one more I want to put here. Now, something you don't want to do is leave this glass. And I do not know why it does this. But if you left this until it dried, I don't know if it sucks the color off of that spot into the circle part. But it won't have color on the inside. I'm thinking, no, I'll just let that dry. I won't, I won't have to battle this at all. And it was, <laughs> all the color was gone. And that might be really cool. I hadn't played with it. But <laughs> it's not what I was going after. This one I put a lot of alcohol on because it is, it is running around, but that's okay. Just get it dry the best you can, or not you, me. I'll get it dry the best I can.
loving that. You can see the difference in them. This one I got really wet. And what I'm going to do is put this back in alcohol and just kind of reestablish a little bit of a, a border or, you know, the circle the, on the circle. Oh, I'm getting tongue-tied. So get the border a little bit. That kind of not be soaked. Yeah, see how much that just defined it a little bit. It wasn't a lot we did, just a little. <laughs> All right, so there is my bubbles. Now um, I go into the embellishment. I love this part. So these are a little bit smaller. There's one with some green. Let's use that one. I'm going to dip that in whatever I've got here and just kind of come in. And this one I'm going to make part of the half circle. It won't show up much, but it's it's something. And I'm not going to go into my big circle. I want it to look like it's behind it. Now this one, I will go ahead and do that. And then just randomly put a shape in. So you can do that a couple of places. The more you got going on, the more you can look at, be interesting. All right, here is this. We'll get some more right there. This is going to be little. Of course. So keep little things like that. You just never know. All right, that may be it for the circles. I'm going to use my handy dandy card. See if there's any more. Yep, there's some right there. I just want to put some lines. Not anything definite. Not anything real strong. That didn't show up. It kind of dried. And I don't know why I like a couple of them together, like that, or three, two. Okay, we can always come back and do more. And I want to do a marker, so what color best suits? Go ahead and swatch your markers out. You're going to, it's just going to make life a lot easier on you. You can sit here and quickly look through your, your colors without having to test them all the time because the the lids are not going to match they're they're out there sometimes i think that one I mean, look how much darker the cap is than the actual color now this is photo paper i'm using it on photo paper if you're going to use it on marker paper squatch it on swatch it on that 
um, because it will show up differently. Let me think. No, I want something bigger. All right, my scrap pieces. I'm going to do this behind it. And if you don't like something, don't do it. But also, there's going to be so much going on. They're not going to go, oh, that? No, I don't like that. It's not going to be a big deal at all. Let's do a different color. Um, that brown. So see, just do all kinds. And people aren't going to go, well, you got the same thing. No, because they're all going to look different. It's all going to be different. And again, it's all going to blend in. So just have fun with this. Start putting stuff places and just enjoy it. I'm really liking doing with this. And if you've got some liquid acrylic, that is really fun to use on these. All right, I'll come back and do some more of that because I like that. Um, so, here's something fun to do. Now, I have these stylists. You can buy, and all these were a set. And it, they're so fun. Uh, they're a great way to play. And so, I'm picking out my biggest one, and it's got a little bit smaller on this end, so it's got two sizes. And I'm going to... Palette. Get a palette. Um, I'm going to do some straight alcohol. So I may use this guy. And then use the colored ones in the palette. So I'll use those in a minute. And I'm just going to put... Now these will not really have much of a color. Because you're using the straight alcohol. And you may need to go back over them. And if you really want to pick that up and have that do something like that. Then you can go back and touch on them, and it really will pick up that color.
And this is where you really have fun. I'll probably go really, really quiet right here. And the reason I swapped to the little one is I don't want that very last one to be terribly big. Yeah, I can't get enough on there. different size one if you go down the size And don't be afraid to layer too. Because I just put dots on top of a line. And we'll get that big one back. This one in here. You want it to be able to go up a little bit on the dotting tool. And that's if you don't want them just white. Where's my brown?
Hmm. No shirt like that. All right. Let me. Let me get it dried, and I may put some brown in it. Leave it, but. I'm going to take a really small one and just put off to the side in it to offset that color. There. That took some of that away. All right, here's some of this cinnamon. All right, I want to do I want to do a little bit of brown. Right here. I know I just covered up something, but I just needed something else, I think. All right, I need more alcohol. Who ruled? Okay, got it. So here is, here's a choice. I can either take a Q-tip and remove some of the color, or I can do the Posca pen, and if I don't spray it right now, I can, this will hopefully pick up some of that color and it won't be just stark. Um... 
try it down here because this will be cut off anyway. So that's not going to be too too much, I don't think. Because I mean, you want it to show up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's do it. I, I don't. I don't think it's going to show up much at all. Okay, so we need to decide where our light's coming from. So what I'm doing is going, it's going to come from this way. And I'm going to go hit more of the light to this upper corner a little bit here because it's going through or around or somehow it does the bubble. It, you have it on both sides. So I'm going to do, let's just do this one. It'll be easy, I think. And I'm not going to worry about getting it straight. I just I just want it on there. There. I think that's all we're going to do. I think that'll be fine. All right, I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to put it in this, but I'm going to put it kind of at the top, but off-centered, just to add another little layer of something. I may not do them all, may. Yeah, because I want them to show up. They, they show up pretty good like that. Just gives you something else to look at. Okay. And don't, don't be exact, because the bubble's not. That is a lot of fun. Yep, I want my small one. Let me get us. I'm gonna put something on those these lines just just cause I can. Definitely want some more blue ones. I like those. Let's send them down here. I'm 
that is why you spray. Or maybe I just use this one a lot. I may use this one a lot. It is a color I like. Yeah, that didn't add anything. All right, let's see what else do I want to do with my little pasta pen. I love the white. I just love it, love it, love it. Ooh, I want to do a white circle. This is the Pinata Blanco. Oh, yeah. So you're never done. Never, never done. Okay. I'm going to quit for time's sake. I think we've done enough to understand and have fun. And all right. I think we're done. <laughs> I'm going to cut this down. This is awfully long, but I have had a big, big time. So I hope this gave you some good ideas and go out there and have some fun.